Levy gotta be Levy. And he don't need nobody messing with him about the white man. Because you don't know nothing about me. You, you don't know Levy. You don't know nothing about what kind of blood I got, what kind of heart I got beaten here. I was eight years old when I watched the gang of white men come into my daddy's house and have to do with my mama any way they wanted. We was living in Jefferson County, about 80 miles outside of Natchez. My daddy's name was Memphis. Memphis Lee Green. Had him near 50 acres of good farming land. I'm talking about good land, grow anything you want. It was coming on planting time, and my daddy went into Natchez to get him some seed and fertilizer. Called me, say, Levy, you the man of the house now. Take care of your mama while I'm gone. <laughs> I wasn't but a little boy. Eight years old. My mama was frying up some chicken when them men's come in that house. Must have been eight or nine of them. She, she was standing there frying that chicken when them men come and take hold of her just like you take hold of a mule and make them do what you want. Now, I know I didn't know what they was doing to her, but I figured whatever it was, they may as well do to me too. My daddy had a knife. He kept around there for hunting and working and whatnot. I knew where he kept it, and I went and got it. I'm going to show you how spooked up I was by the white man. I tried my damnedest to cut one of them's throat. I hit him on the shoulder with it. He reached back, grabbed hold of that knife, whacked me across the chest with it. That's what made them stop. They were scared I was going to bleed to death. My daddy come back and acted like he done accepted the facts of what had happened, but he got the names of them white men from my mom. He found out who they was, and then we announced we was moving out of that county. I see my daddy go up and smile in the face of one of them crackers who had been with my mama. Smile in his face in Southern Marland. He got us settled in, and then he took a off one day. I ain't never seen him since. <laughs> he sneaked back, hiding up in the woods, laying to get them eight or nine men. My daddy wasn't spooked up by the white man. No, sir! And that taught me how to handle him. I see my daddy go up and grin in his cracker's face, smile in his face and sell him his land, all the while he's planning how he's going to get him and what he's going to do to him. That taught me how to handle him. So you all just back up and leave Levy alone about the white man. I can smile and say yes, sir, to whoever I please. I got my time coming to me. You all just leave Levy alone about the white man. Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, that was Levy from August Wilson's Ma Rainey Black Bottom. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't know, my name is Kyle Branch. I'm a high school student in Los Angeles. And I think it's important that everyone realize that the most important things to do in these times of confusion and pain is to stay positive. However that means, however you may do it, stay positive.